Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're out at Movie World for Superheroes, Super Villains Takeover for 2021. Let's get inside guys and see what they have, okay? Hopefully it's not too noisy. The, well, right, the Batwing thing is going off behind. But first up we're gonna do, we're checking out here, the Green Lantern right is still down. Like, I think we are wintering over the six months that this attraction has been down for. So, not sure what's going on with that. Like, I I hope they reopen it soon, but I'm now starting to get vibes that they're looking at getting rid of it and replacing it or something. Either way, let's keep heading down the back here and see what else is open or closed or stuff like that, okay? So, I'm not gonna bother trying to go down there, but you can see all that's up and running, including the Justice League, and as I was telling you, because it was annoying me, the Batwing. So, let's head down towards Arkham and see what we've got down there, okay? Okay, we can also see the Batman photo up is out here and actually attached a rope this year, so it's kind of cool. Okay, as we go past, we can see the fountain is actually dyed yellow. So, after it kind of gets darker, hopefully we'll come back and check that out and actually can look a lot better, but let's keep moving, like I said, over here towards Arkham, okay? The fountain is yellow, we'll show that if it lights up, but I also want to show that it was green. So, it's kind of a cool little overlay. Hey, so we've got down here towards Arkham and was pointing out that Sumanic Escape over here is up and running. Everything is normal. But Arkham is still down. As well as these, if you guys can see it, let's see how I'm blind that light for you. The doors there are shut. So let's just go like back down this way and we'll go down Main Street. Keep seeing this down the merchandise, but also see if we can get to that back area that way. As we're going through like this center hub area, we can see the different Justice League members. Look, photo op is back. We've also got a Batman like plastic box photo op so we'll go look at that in a second and you guys can see over there which we'll get a closer look in a second we've also got the um saving the person like crushed car sort of photo op so but saying that hmm, we're gonna go check out this batman one like the plexiglass thing let's see what it looks like okay okay and this is actually marked up here for the superheroes and super villains event so this is actually an exclusive photo op it looks for the event so Plexiglass on all sides, including above us. So I'm guessing from the outside, it looks like you're a toy. Which is kind of cool. Okay, as we go past, we've also got a Poison Eyes Ivy meet and greet here. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so I'm gonna search around for new merchandise. I've come across these, which are kind of like, okay, there, and come on. Cute little like Scooby Doo ears, and they're $6. And it also looks like we got the matching like mittens sort of thing for 20, so it's like a scarf mittens. Let's keep looking around and see what else we can find. Okay guys, um, I've checked out most of the stores. I've still got like the little pop-up uh, Superman one, which was the White Christmas one to check. But apparently from what I've seen so far and what I've asked to talk to people, there was absolutely no exclusive merch for this event again. And apparently, yes, yeah, like most events, they have nothing. But I'll keep checking for you guys, because like I know there'll be one year they'll have something, like a massive wide range, but uh, until then, I don't know, but let's keep let's keep walking around and seeing what like this WB Kids area has kind of got reopened, closed, and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys down because the sun's in my eyes. Okay, so it looks like the train is back up and running. I think this was down around Christmas when we were here, and I'm trying to look ahead here to the Taz Rest Stop. I keep calling it Pet Shop, but it's not. It's Taz Rest Stop. It's kind of like the babysitting area, so you guys have noticed in other events, other vlogs. <clears throat> well, I'm just all over the place today, guys. I promise you, I'm going to get back into it. I'm just rusty. So we've had quite a few weeks here where I haven't been able to film. But that's all closed down still. Lots of and stuff, so maybe it could be used. But let's circle around here. We'll check out the little car area inside. And then we'll head to the other way and see what they have over there. Because that's probably going to be the area that may have more stuff because it's like the more DC themed area. Okay, so nothing really new, but there's twinkle lights. Everyone loves twinkle lights. Okay. Uh, there's not really much to film, so let's keep moving, okay? Okay, so the carousel's working and the little coaster's working. This little bouncy thing here is still closed down, but I know that it was closed until early this year. I just cannot remember exactly when it was meant to reopen. Saying that, Let's keep heading to the other end of the park, like I was saying. So that was like the photo up I was showing you earlier, where like you can stand there, so it makes it look like you're holding up, and then let's go around the back. 
show what I mean, is like a loose. So that's what it's meant to look like. So you come around the back here, you see the stairs, so you look through the windows there. So the car show's going on and it's just being extraordinarily loud. So let's keep moving. We're finally seeing the first sort of stuff. So we've got a nice little photo up here and the first food booth, which is menus around here. Let's jump around to see what we've got. Okay, that doesn't look like too bad. We may actually have to come back here for dinner. But there's the menu. Let's keep moving around and we'll see what else is going on. Okay, so we've got some more exclusive food for the event. So this is the Mad Love, which is a blueberry and raspberry black float with ice cream stuff on top for $7. And I think there's another item on this side. Yes, the Golden Crunch Churro. So it's not bad. We may have to try to check that out as well. We've also got like a new meal deal here. I'm not sure if this is for the event or just because it's the Gotham City Cafe, but chips, burger, and it comes with a mask, a Batman mask. So it's just kind of cool. And that's just, like I said, here at the Gotham City Cafe. So it's not too bad. Okay, we finally got to this second entrance and it's, it's closed tight. So we'll check through the night. Maybe they'll reopen and there'll be something back there we can check out. But for the moment, we can't go in there, okay? Yeah, okay, I've still got to go, go back to the DC area because it's real busy to show you guys some stuff. But just want to show you there's nothing really going on there, but there's more twinkly lights. So seems like if in doubt, put twinkly lights. Let's go down and see what's going on here with the Wild West Falls. But the moment it just seems like business as usual, nothing really special is going on. It's not overly late yet, so we've still got like another hour or so until things really start kicking off. But just show you guys what's going on. Okay, so, going to the showcase just because it's air conditioned, it's kind of hot today, and it's the easiest and most fun way to kind of get to that DC area. So, enjoy a small montage. finally out into the whole DC area and like I thought Doomsday Ride is still down however this part's open now so let's go down and see what they've done to some of the like little statues and stuff here so we still got the Mr. Freeze Green you scream we all scream for ice I'll let you provide the ice and we're gonna check out the Harley and Joker one I think it's a cool little set piece here Okay, I definitely think they've worked on these the most because I have to admit, Joker's face looks amazing in this one. Especially the eyes. And honestly, so does Harley's. The eyes are also extraordinarily well done and creepy, but I don't know, the whole just statue seems just a higher level quality, but maybe I'm just not remembering as correctly as it was. But either way, let's keep looking around and see what else we can see. Okay. Does this currently work? So let's try. Pull the handle up. And down. No, it does nothing at the moment. Okay, actually while I go past, here's the side view of Doom. It hasn't even got its ride vehicles on it. So it's definitely still down. And I currently do not know when it's scheduled to reopen, but I should put the date there. Like on the screen now should actually be the date that it says to reopen if I can find it on the website. But let's go this way and we'll circle around there and check out some of the other characters and see if Harley and Joker are still up meeting and greeting. Killer Croc, that's it, I was trying to remember the name. And then we've got Poison Ivy over here. And uh, yep, Scarecrow, like I thought. And then you got Bizarre. Are you scared of what Superman. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to talk fast because every time I try to show this to you guys, it stops. But we've got some smoking bowels over here, which are kind of cool. Okay. So I'm gonna hang out and see if I can see them start to properly smoke again. So there it goes. My guess the bowels have the joke on it, so I'm guessing it's meant to be like laughing gas. Okay, so I'm gonna walk down here Main Street, but we are starting to see there are some lights starting off. I'm trying hard not to walk into little children, but it's sometimes hard. Okay, let's see what else we can see, okay? So we got Wonder Woman up there, so I think there's a show going on. Let's see if we can run up and catch up to it, okay? Because another item here while walking around, the Harley Quinn dog house, which is like a super size any dog to the two foot long. Wow, okay, it's kind of cool. And then here's a selection of hot dogs you can have. Just it says any, so I'm guessing any. Okay, another item that I've missed. So it's a mint. Chocolate mint blended frappe. You can add coffee to it for a dollar for so desire. Okay. And we also got a Catwoman meet and greet coming on out here, which is kind of cool to see. 1938, DC superheroes have been a part of our lives, inspiring generations to believe that we can achieve the impossible. But for every force for justice, there is an equally opposing force for injustice. This year we celebrate the good or embrace the bad at DC Superheroes and Supervillains. Which side do you want?
favorite supervillains the Indian. Take over here at Moon War on the Gold Coast. If you have please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get notified next time I upload. Also, bottom screen, like always, are my socials. But I guess that's a wrap. See you guys in the next one.